and welcome to this edition of Hope and Heaven's Reflections based on daily guide written by Pastor Ihe Adiboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. It's wonderful to be with you. My name is Fuike Christina Tolani and I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. I just want to quickly remind you, if you don't have a copy of the Open Heavens Daily Guide, please make sure you get one. It's a highly recommended uh, guide for you this year and I know that you will be blessed as you use it in Jesus' name. So you can get copies from either calling OHTV or the Redeemed Christian Church of God Central Office. God bless you. Our topic today is Day 3 Miracle. And Bible passage is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, from 9 to 13. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together the waters called a seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, and the herb yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruits after its kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after its kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after its kind. And God saw that it was good, and the evening and the morning were the third day. Our memory verse still Genesis chapter 1 verse 10 and God called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters called a seas and God saw that it was good our reflections as you would recall we are discussing the first six, the six days of the year issues that will impact our lives for good and shape our lives for the best Today being the third day of creation in the passage that we are actually dwelling on, God is something that is unique. He created an order of things. It was as if prior to this day, things just existed haphazardly without any known order of things. God did not like that and he stepped into the situation and created a sense of order by gathering all the waters into one place and seas into another place. Firstly, we must remember that once again, this became possible through the infallible word of the Lord. All the creation obeyed the word of the Lord and that brought some order into our world. From that point, God set in order the course of the, earth, of the world. Our God is the God of creation and provision. So a hard lesson we can take away, or a good lesson we can take away from the experience of the third day is the need for order and proper planning in our daily lives. As we can see from this account, our God is the God of order. Without order, it will be impossible for us to achieve the level of success that we are meant to achieve in life. Secondly, the Lord created the land mass and the sea so that they can be mutually supportive of each other. Unfortunately, a lot of us, we know this, due to careless use of the resources of the earth, it is causing all sorts of natural calamities and it is time that we return to God's order of things and respect the use of the earth support system. So in this new year, May your life not be chaotic, but in good order in Jesus' name. Also, make it your ambition to make sure that you plan properly as we start a new year. The Lord bless you. Our action point, how strong is your family altar? The request is make sure it is in order. Do something positive about it today. God bless you. Happy New Year to you once again. And have a blessed day. Bye.